Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up a Kali Linux virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. Uh, and since the base image that we are going to use, the base Kali image doesn't come with a graphical interface, we'll also be installing the XFCE desktop interface, which is lightweight and ideal for cloud environments. Uh, I will also show you how to install XRDP so that we can use remote desktop access. Uh, so basically you can interact with this Kali machine just like you would with a regular desktop. And also this video is a kind of a part of my personal journey to become a Microsoft MVP. Uh, and uh, I'm combining different cloud, I'm combining cloud technologies with different uh, skills like cybersecurity, for example, in this one. So it doesn't matter if you're here for fun or you're getting into ethical hacking or just expanding your cloud skills. I hope this video or this guide will help you out. And if it does, you know, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So in order to get started, we'll head over to Azure portal and we'll just create a virtual machine. From here, we'll uh, press create, create Azure virtual machine. And we're going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to call this RK virtual uh, Linux demo or something. There we go. We're going to give this a name, hacker machine. West Europe, we're going to take availability zone, no infrastructure redundancy required because we don't need it. It's just a demo. And then we're going to have standard on the security type. When it comes to image, if you don't see it in the list, which you probably won't, you can search for it in see all images. Basically, it's called Kali uh, 2024.2. And then I'm going to take a standard B4MS machine. And I'm also going to create a password uh, account. So I'm going to call myself Kakashi Duta. And we're going to do a password. So we're going to start with SSH and then install uh, all the packages we need. For now, we're just going to keep the selected import pounds, uh, ports at uh, 22. So just keep SSH open for now. But later on in this video, we will open up 3389 in order for us to connect with RDP. So we'll press review and create. And then we'll press create from here. There we go. And now that everything is done, we can head over to the resource group. And now we have the hacker machine. We'll go to the hacker machine. And the only thing we need right now is the IP address. So we're going to take the IP address and we're going to connect uh, to our virtual machine using SSH. Uh, because again, this, uh, this image is lightweight. It doesn't come with a, a GUI for now. So we need to install it. And in order for us to do that, we're going to do it uh, via the terminal, right? So we'll, from, from here, what you want to do in order for us to connect to this virtual machine, you write SSH and then your username at the IP address, right? So yes, and then we'll type in the password. We just uh, put in Azure. I think I did the wrong password. Yeah. There we go. And now you can see that we're actually connected to Linux Kali. So we're not, this session is no longer in our computer. We're actually in the virtual machine, right? The Kali machine. So in order for us to actually do what we need to do, we need to do some commands to start off with. The first thing we want to do is we want to write sudo apt uh, update, and then we'll also do sudo apt upgrade, and we'll do the yes flag, and then we'll press enter, and we wait for this to finish. This might take a minute or two. At some points during the installation, you'll get prompts like this. You just do go yes here and you do OK. And then you wait again. And at some point during the installation, you'll get this one. And we'll just do install the package maintenance version. And then you should be finished. So this took me maybe five minutes. And as soon as you're finished, then you can start uh, installing the packages we need. So the first thing we need is the GUI, right? So XFCE. So we'll do sudo apt install. Uh, yes, Kali desktop XFCE. And we'll press enter and this might, uh, okay, I wrote it wrong. Yeah, so I spelled desktop wrong. 
desktop like so so this might take a minute as well i'm gonna pause and when this one pops up you just press english of course and then you wait a couple of minutes again there we go and when this is finished we're gonna install xrdp so that again we can use remote desktop protocol so we'll do sudo apt install xrdp and then again we press enter and we wait until it's finished this one goes a bit faster and when this one when this part is finished what we want to do now is now we've installed xrdp now we need to start it and we need to enable it so we'll do sudo uh, system ctl start xrdp and then we're gonna do sudo system ctl enable xrdp like so uh, now that we have those we're just gonna add a certificate so we'll do sudo uh, add user s uh, x r d p uh, s s l cert like so and now we're actually done with this part now we've installed everything we need but in order for us to actually use remote desktop protocol this application we need to open up port 3389 because that's the port that this application uses to speak with this virtual machine and in order for us to do that we'll go to our virtual machine we'll go to the resource group then we'll go to the network security group here we press this one from here what you want to do is you want to add a new inbound security rule you press add and you're gonna add uh, you go to service and you take RDP and you press add like so and then you just wait now that it's actually added we can now go ahead and connect and that's basically it we don't really need to do much more so what I can do now is I go back to my virtual machine I'll take the IP address again and this time instead of using SSH I'm going to use this one and I'll put my IP address in here. I'll press connect and we'll press yes. And there we go, Kali Linux. Here we'll put in our username that we put in Asher, Kakashi Duta. And there you go, guys. Now you have a lightweight version of Kali Linux with a GUI. A gu GUI. Now, again, it doesn't matter if you're into this because you want to become an ethical hacker or just want to have fun and try it out or whatever. But as I said, this is lightweight, so it doesn't actually have many tools installed. So you see, you go down here, you have the information gathering, sniffing and spoofing, post exploitation, social engineering tools, etc. But there's nothing in here. So if you want to use Nmap, you want to use Shordan, you want to use Burp Suit, you need to install these things, right? I can just show you one thing because this is kind of nerdy and this is uh, uh, well yeah if you're going to hack people or we're going to <laughs> you shouldn't hack people but if you're going to play around with linux kali you need to enter the matrix right so we'll do sudo apt install uh, same matrix i'll just add this one for you guys yes and then we'll do guess optimal character set And now we'll do C matrix. And there we go, guys. Now we're officially in the matrix and you can feel like a hacker, right? So now you just pull this uh, up in front of your friends or girlfriends or whatever, and they'll, they're going to be really impressed by you guys. So that's kind of it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked, please press like. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would appreciate it. And if this video helped you, uh, please leave a comment. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Have a good one.